Top 10 Weird But True Facts If you're sitting at home bored, why not use the downtime to develop your brain? And, better yet, to wow you? They say that truth is stranger than fiction, and it never seems to be truer when you read strange facts. Seriously, the world is full of enchantment and we're not just talking about Snapple facts, here are the top 10 list of the weird but true facts around the world. Number 10. Spider webs were used as bandages in ancient times. Did you know that spider webs aren't just home to your friendly neighborhood spiders? Spider webs are a great natural treatment to heal cuts and scrapes. In ancient Greece and Rome, doctors used spider webs to bandage their patients. Spider webs are said to have natural antiseptic and antifungal properties, which can help keep wounds clean and prevent infection. Spider webs are also said to be rich in vitamin K, which promotes blood clotting. The spider web is extremely powerful. It is made from silk produced from the spider's body protein, which turns it into silk through spinning mechanisms. The spinner rests on the belly of a spider. Each spider has three or four spinners. Inside the spindles there are many spurs attached to a silk gland. Spider silk starts out as a liquid. As the material is removed from the spider's body, it begins to harden. This movement changes the structural components of the silk. The use of cobwebs or cobwebs has been practiced since ancient times, when the Greeks and Romans treated wounded soldiers with it to stop bleeding. Soldiers would also use a mixture of honey and vinegar to clean deep wounds, then cover the entire area with a ball-shaped spider web, open wounds treated with cobwebs will dry faster. Spider webs have antifungal and antiseptic properties that keep bacteria away, minimizing the risk of infection. As long as the sling is clean, it won't cause an infection or worsen a wound. Number 9. Umbrellas were once only used by women. The Greeks and Romans borrowed heavily from Egyptian culture, but when it came to umbrellas, they decided that it was something only for women, it is believed that Roman women were the ones who came up with the idea of oiling their parasols to make them waterproof, at public events, e.g. open-air amphitheater, when there is a light drizzle, all the women will open their umbrellas, which causes vision problems for others. In the first century, there was such a debate about the issue that the emperor actually had to settle it. He must have been a smart man because he ruled in favor of women. For the most part, umbrellas remained a staple accessory for women until the 18th century, an English gentleman named Jonas Hanway wanted to change that. Apparently Hanway is quite wealthy, so he has a lot of spare time to parade with an umbrella over his head, trying to show society that it's entirely possible for a man to carry an umbrella. Acceptable, Hanway is said to have endured the taunts and teasing of those who saw him. However, undaunted, he went everywhere, rain or shine, with his umbrella. We don't know what's more ridiculous, that he always walks around with an umbrella, or that people laugh at him for it, either way, Hanway persisted with his antics and eventually men began to see the utility of the accessory, while other entrepreneurs hire a horse-drawn carriage to take them around London in the rain, Hanway simply walks with an umbrella to keep his fancy clothes dry, it lasted 30 years. At the end of its life, the umbrellas are actually called Hanways. Number 8. Someone tried to sell New Zealand on eBay. A number of strange things have been sold on eBay, from a grilled cheese sandwich featuring the Virgin Mary's face to Justin Timberlake's half-eaten French toast. But one of the weirdest lists ever was for New Zealand. That's right, in May 2006, Isaac Butterfield from Brisbane, Australia, attempted to sell New Zealand at a starting price of one cent. Isaac Butterfield, a comedian with more than 1 million followers on YouTube, has previously made headlines when he was banned from Facebook for making fun of New Zealand. The list describes the country as the most questionable American Cup win of all time and says it has very normal weather. Despite these selling points, the ridiculous auction generated a lot of interest. The price started at 1 cent and after 6,000 hits and 22 bids, the sale price for New Zealand skyrocketed to $3,000. Eventually, eBay learned about the auction and removed it from its website. New Zealand is clearly not for sale, an eBay Australia spokesperson said at the time. Number 7. Most Icelanders believe in elves. A 2007 survey by the University of Iceland found that 62% of Icelanders believe in elves in real life. 
In fact, in 2014 opponents claimed that a highway project would destroy an elf church, which many believe is just a giant rock. In the end, the church was moved to a safe place undamaged and construction continued. Although the rock weighs 70 tons and requires a crane to move, preserving important places for elves is very important to Icelanders, the country's history of elves dates back to poems from the Viking Age circa 1000. To the Icelanders, these elves are not little Santa toy figures, they look a lot like humans and can vary in size. Many believe that serious misfortunes will befall those who dare to build on the territory of the elves, even if it cannot be seen thus the church is preserved. Number 6. McDonald's created broccoli that tastes like bubblegum. McDonald's CEO Don Thompson was speaking at an event hosted by venture capital firm Andreessen Horowitz on Thursday night, when a guest asked what the fast food chain was doing to get kids to eat healthier. Thompson points out that McDonald's redesigned the milk jug and reduced the size of the fries, but McDonald's most bizarre attempt to make its menu more nutritious is designing broccoli that tastes like gum. If it doesn't look good, it doesn't taste good, that's not all, Thompson said. McDonald's CEO said children are confused by the taste. The gum-flavored broccoli was a failure, Thompson defends McDonald's menu choices. He claims that McDonald's sells the most salads of any American restaurant chain, at the same time, the fast food CEO said parents should make their own food choices for their children. You can't ask a company to do things that you, as a parent, wouldn't do on your own, he said. Number 5. It would take 38 minutes to fall to the center of the Earth. The classic problem of how long it takes to pass the Earth has a new answer, and it's four minutes less than the answer that has been calculated millions of times. Thousands of physics teachers have dismissed this fact, along with students' concerns about the complete elimination of friction. However, Klotz has gone where no other physicist has gone before, using variable density models with depth built from seismic data, for example, if one were to pass through the center of the planet. From pole to pole, it would take only 38 minutes, reflecting a greater gravitational pull towards the center. On the other hand, 42 minutes is still a good estimate of the time it takes to pass between two close points. The time required to fall along a straight line between two points is no longer independent of the distance but is interpolated between 42 minutes for the short run and 38 minutes for the long run, Klotz observes. Klotz also points out that although a straight line may be the shortest path between two points, it is not necessarily the fastest. The fastest path between two non-opposite points on the surface would be the one that tends to reach greater maximum depth. Useful to know if you're trying to get from New York to Tokyo and can't spare those four more minutes. Number 4. Eiffel Tower grows 6 inches in the summer. One of the reasons why the Eiffel Tower remains so vibrant is that it adapts to the environment and all kinds of weather conditions, wind, cold, rain, snow, frost, heat. Like any metal, cast iron is very sensitive to temperature changes and therefore reacts to high summer temperatures and low temperatures. Or even negative in winter, as the temperature rises, the tower expands. This is a natural physical phenomenon known as thermal expansion. The heat increases the volume causing the Eiffel Tower to increase by a few centimeters, on the contrary, when the harsh cold of winter comes, the metal structure shrinks and it can also lose several centimeters. Number 3. The first 3D film was released almost a century. Debate still exists about what technically qualifies as the first 3D movie. The popular choice was a 1903 short titled The Arrival of the Train. This short film by the Lumiere brothers depicts an oncoming train rumbling through a station. The quality seemed good enough to convince some viewers that they were about to be crushed. The first commercial 3D film to be released was The Power of Love in 1922. It was also the first 3D film to use anaglyph glasses. These glasses use lenses of opposite colors. When combined with a suitable pair of film strips, viewers get a 3D effect. Number 2. Scotland's national animal is a unicorn. The unicorn is Scotland's official national animal. And love for this famous mythical creature goes back centuries, unicorns have appeared in many cultures dating back to antiquity including the ancient Babylonians and the Indus civilization. With its horse-white body and unique spiral horn, the unicorn is a symbol of purity, innocence, and power in Celtic mythology. Legend also says that their horns can filter out poisonous water, which is their healing power. 
These proud and indomitable creatures are independent and notoriously difficult to capture or conquer, which should sound familiar to anyone who has read their Scottish history. Although unicorns are mythical, Scots have always felt drawn to what they represent. Number 1. Animals used to be put on trial. Has your dog ever done something naughty? But are you going to sue him for that? Until the 18th century, animals could be charged in the same way as humans. There is nothing more fun than robbing a bank, most of these crimes are murder or property damage. Eventually people realized that maybe these animals didn't know what they were doing. So go easy on your dog the next time he misbehaves, 